All right, guys. All right, guys. So I'm here in front of some Sichuan impressions. So let's do a little bit of more of that of that um, Tai Chi talk, right? Let's go through some more of that Tai Chi. So as I was saying before, you want to try to be completely relaxed when you do Tai Chi. Um, you don't want to be thinking about what's happening in your life. You don't want to be thinking about uh, what you're going to be doing right after Tai Chi. You don't want to be thinking about uh, you know, your mortgage or whatever, just blank it all out, blank it all out, okay? If you do, you won't be able to feel the chi, you won't be able to move with it, you won't be able to do anything. Um, that's one of the beautiful things about uh, going tai to Tai Chi with a group of um, awesome instructors and all that stuff that you can do at a beautiful place such as Irvine, California, Woodbridge and in, uh, in our parks here. We have fantastic teachers is uh, the fact that when you're with a good group of people and everybody's trying to do Tai Chi, it's easier to forget everything else that's going on in your life and uh, put it put it behind you, put it away, at least for the time that you're there. Uh, and so then uh, when you start working on your meditation and sometimes you'll do it in together with a group and sometimes if you don't feel comfortable, you can do it aside, you know, uh, just hang off to the side and do your own thing. Uh, just practice uh, your own meditation in your own way and just keep it relaxed. Uh, because sometimes, and this is very important for beginners, uh, you may get caught up, as I was saying, with the perfection of the move and it has to be exactly done like this. And you have to put this much weight on this leg or that leg and that and the other. And then... Um, you're so confused with all this, you know, ton of information that you forget about relaxing and your focus, which is rejuvenation, right? You want to try to stay as young and as vertical as possible for as many years as possible. Uh, will you get it to, you know, 103 or past, you know, 100 like the Tai Chi masters? You know, that's all debatable. It depends on whether you combine Tai Chi with a uh, less stressful lifestyle, whether you're able to eat right, um, whether you're able to sleep enough hours. And so it's all correlated. Uh, so Tai Chi alone, even if you are an amazing Tai Chi master and uh, capable of harnessing the energy that's within your body, that's around your body, that's you know, connecting up to uh, Mother Earth and, uh, you know, Father Son and all those things. Um, whether you're able to do all those things or not, uh, that will be up to you. And then, you know, there's so many variables. So it may work and it may not work. But the best that you can do is uh, learn to really relax. Find, as I said, everybody should have five to maybe ten minutes uh, in your life where you can just take that phone, turn it off, take that computer, unplug it, uh, find yourself a room, find yourself a place, a park, whatever you want, and uh, completely disconnect from everything and from people. And uh, I guess maybe with COVID it's a little bit easier, right? They kind of forced it a bit on, on uh, the general public, but... Um, I think people still find ways to get stuck with that computer or that phone 24-7. So that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Anyway, let's go back to what I was talking about. Um, chi in your body is much easier to understand and it flows much better through your body when the sort of the fat to muscle ratio is going towards the muscle being toned and the skin being able to, you know, um, to absorb uh, the, how do you say, to absorb the energy. If you are pushing yourself towards the more, like, um, have more animal fat within you, then that's almost like a shield and that kind of repels chi. So uh, that's a good reason to... Um, to try to better yourself and uh, improve on your diet. So I don't care how you do it, but 
if you want to get the most out of your chi, uh, then you know you gotta you gotta build up um, that sort of consistency, you know, where you have a decent amount of tone in your body. And again, uh, you know the <laughs> when you get older, you know the love handles and all that stuff really weighs you down. Uh, even when you're, especially actually when you're trying to do Tai Chi. So um, something to think about. And we'll leave this video here because I got to go get some food for the fam. And um, hope some of this stuff helps you out. There will be more videos like this coming up. Some, as I said, in 2D and some of them will be in 3D. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.